Hey everybody, Brent Florica back again. Welcome back to Sketchbook B. So I'm on vacation. Um, been really, really nice to to be relaxed and and do some art. I've actually done a lot of drawing on my vacation this year, so I'm super happy about that. And uh, when I got the email from Marker Universe about the new colors of the month for August, I thought, eh, I was in kind of a you know beach sort of mood. And uh, <laughs> I guess that's what led me to do something like this. So um, you'll see this scene that I'm creating develop of this scuba hunter guy doing some kind of spear fishing of a really colorful fish. Um, done obviously as usual with my Copic markers. And uh, I was really fortunate this time because I had a reduced set of markers that I brought with me, about 72 of my 200 something that I have in my full set. And uh, fortunately, I still had the colors I needed in order to pull this off. So I was relieved that I could still do this while on, uh, on my vacation. But um, as we go here, we're starting with just the penciling work, laying out the, the rough shapes of the, the scuba guy here, and uh, also this really cool, colorful fish that I found a picture of online. Uh, fish are such a you know they have so many vibrant colors and stuff so it, it it's a good uh, subject matter when you're wanting to do something really vibrant you'll see this one is there's there's a lot of color in this uh, in this finished piece here so um, you know it was it was fun to experiment and just kind of go wild with really bright vibrant saturated colors um, so the colors of the month were um, RV I believe it was 14 so I have RV 13 in Copics, um, Y18, I believe, which is lightning yellow, so I use Y19 Napoli yellow, and then also B29 Ultramarine, um, which is a really great vibrant blue, um, really saturated, uh, which I really like using for some of my other projects and stuff, um, but also I use a lot in just my Copic artwork for myself too. It's a really great color, I like it a lot. So I also included, you know, black um, as, you know, filling in some areas that would have taken a lot of ink from my Micron pens um, was not something I wanted to do. I just would fill those areas in with the black Copic marker and also the colorless blender I did use as well. And you'll see kind of coming up here as I finish the inking and start into the actual coloring of things. I found I can make different colors actually. So you start with just the three, but and mixing them together gets you different colors then. And so as I experimented, I found with the pink and the yellow, you can make a sort of orangey color. And I started with the blue here actually, color dabbing with the colorless blender. And you can kind of, by starting in the dark blue and moving over, you can get a bit of a lighter blue um, as it sort of rubs off the tip of the colorless blender. So I used that on the bubbles and on the fish to get a little bit of uh, just kind of a lighter hue of blue. Then also you have a bit of a green color that can be achieved as well through the blue and the yellow mixing. And uh, I use that a little bit later as you'll see. So I don't know <laughs> if this here at this point is, you know, a real scuba thing. I, I'm fully aware that you don't have a, you know, these bubble helmets, but I just thought it visually looked cool. so. I wanted to kind of try that out and uh, use that as the basis for the, the scuba guy and then put interesting reflections on it and that sort of thing. Um, the colors here on the arm are used with that green and blue and then also I, I just kind of found ways to combine the rest of the colors on the rest of the scuba diver's body. At this point though, I was feeling like it was looking pretty plain um you know the in hindsight i think i should have just done a fish on the full page or the scuba diver on the full page but i wanted to kind of create a little bit of a backdrop for it and so i started experimenting with this kind of wave uh look here with the pink and uh you know as i started laying that in i thought hmm i'm not too sure how that's looking for me how it was working 
Um, I got some feedback from my family that were there. Kept going back and asking them if I should do more to it. Um, so I, I kind of, this one was a, a bit of a grind to try and get through and, and figure out how best to accent what I had. In the end, I did a lot of stuff after recording because, you know, I thought it was done, took a look at it, and I thought, man, no, I, I got to do some more to it. Um, so as you can see here on the bottom, I thought compositionally there needed to be something kind of in this corner to balance things out up top. And so I started adding some seaweed kelp sort of things. Um, and, you know, it looks super yellow right now, but then I layered over it with the blue, and then I went back over it with the yellow to kind of achieve that greenish color. And I thought actually that that worked really well to get a nice, even green color. Um, and so once I did that, you know, it still felt pretty plain. So I started adding in a bunch of stuff after I had recorded, which you'll see in a minute, layered in a lot, or I put in a lot of blue to, to fill up the water. I added a lot more kelp in behind to give sort of a depth feel. Um, and then also, um, added the water line up top so you could tell that it was shallow water even layered in some uh, Additional silhouettes of fish in the backdrop just to give the, a little bit more visual interest to make it feel like there's more going on in the scene than just this whole wide bit of water with only two things in it um, I, I just wanted to fill it up a little bit more and feel like there was more going on so um, The reveals coming up in a minute. Hope you enjoy the result today and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks so much for joining me at Sketchbook B. Please like, share, subscribe, all of that, and join me next time as I continue my Do Perfect Marvelize series with Cody Jones. See you next time.